Okay, guys, today actually we're gonna pass to a new chapter. We're gonna start in chapter five. We're gonna talk about we're still working in earth science, but we're gonna talk about another topic which you consider to be somehow more interesting for you, as I think. So in that chapter, we're gonna talk about uh, the natural resources. So we are in section one of chapter five to talk about the natural resources. In the beginning, I need you to read this pill ring. Who can read this, guys? Yes, Rashwan, could you read, please? Uh, think about these times, uh, these items, a plastic sandwich bag, a pencil, a glass of water, uh, one quarter of motor oil, an empty aluminum can, a wooden match, salt, and some aquarium uh, charcoal. Okay. Uh, charcoal. Okay. Well, yes, what do these items have in common, so? You, uh, Rashwan, just give you some choices here or some different things that we may use in our daily life. So he asked you, what does this items have in common? So try to think and tell me, what concern to be common between all these guys? Yes, Reem? Um, they are all resources. They are, they are resources. So what does it mean? What do you mean by resources? How they are used by humans. Yes, good. All of them are used by humans. So what is common that the, all of them are used by human? So somehow we so as they are used by human, so humans made some of them. Some of them are naturally found. So that means we some are for well, all these things we use it. Why do we use it, guys? Why do you think why we need to use these things in our life? Yes, Nano. It's not as necessary, but it's like for everyday use. So for everyday use, so why do we use it? What do you use? Well, why do you think they we use them because they decompose? No, that's to make our life easier. We need them, yes or no? So, so oh. that's mean already. We use these different things because in one way or another, we need them in our life to make our life more comfortable, or we just get used to use them to make our life easier. Yes or no, guys? Imagine that there is no motor oil, so you can make your cars or different motors to move. So in that case, your life will be harder. Without pencils, so you may not be able to write. First pencils, Ben, and somehow like so, you may be like the ancient man, and you get a piece of stick or a piece of rock and start to scratch on uh, rock so of course that's too hard so like this whatever any one of these okay they try to make your life easier so that's the idea so here from what we said what could or are we able to define what is a resource so simple words from what we said anyone could figure what the meaning of resource guys other people wake up just nano and Reem keep raising their hands while others still sleeping. Wake up, guys. Okay, Maya? Uh, they are materials that we use in uh, daily using. They are materials that we use, not must be daily, but we just use it. So we use it for what? Uh, to make our life uh, our lives easier. Easier, or, yeah. Okay, so that's the idea, or that's the simple definition of a resource. So like this, we could figure out what the meaning of resource. So here we said, so during this lesson, we should know how humans use natural resources and compare renewable resources with non-renewable resources. And finally, we should be able to explain three ways that humans can conserve natural resources resources so let's find here what are earth's resources so a natural resource is any natural material that is used by humans such as water petroleum minerals forests and animals all these considered as natural resources so that means do we have natural and artificial resources yes natural resources that mean already the resources which are found by nature already allocated them or we found in our surroundings or in our environment then we use these natural resources to make kind of manufacture or industries or whatever to make some artificial or to make um, some things from these natural resources which we could use it in our daily life for example okay the the uh, can or the metal can is really we made it from a metals okay so metals is a natural 
or uh, resources, we just manufacture cans or pole or whatever the shape we need. Uh, in other hand, pencils, they are made of wood and graphite. Both are minerals, okay, or both uh, are materials that are really found in nature and so on, guys. So natural resources is any natural material that is used by humans, such as water, petroleum, minerals, forests, and animals. Even animals considered as resources, yes, because we get a lot of uses from animals. Some We depend on them and get to get food. Okay, sometimes we use their fair wool, okay, or something, whatever they have, okay, we need. Yeah, sometimes even we uh, use uh, some of them toxins to make medicines and something about like snakes and so on, as scorpions, blah, blah, blah. So whatever we could use from the environment, we, call, we can call it a natural resource. Is it clear, guys? Yes. It's clear? Okay. So like this, we consider that... Uh, as natural resources, we said here. Actually, these resources are not used in their uh, pure form or the uh, uh, natural form. They could be, or we just make kind of changes or kind of industries, or we somehow make or we interfere with these resources to change them into another usable forms or to make it in some products that could make our life easier and comfortable, as we said. Okay, so here are that uh, the key word or this sentence is very, very important. The energy we get from many of these resources ultimately comes from the sun's energy. Anyone could explain this statement regarding to your knowledge about it, uh, this part, guys? So just share me. Any energy that we get from any resource ultimately comes from the sun's energy. What does it mean? Okay, Judy. Yeah, some resources absorb yeah, the sun's energy. Um, absorb the sun energy. Must absorb. The English must. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. So, in another words, who can tell me? Yes, Hannah Hamdi. It's uh, like um, the thing, the things that uh, they. Um, they store the, the this uh, sun's energy. Mm. The, Stores. Okay, continuous. I'm hearing. Uh, like there are some, uh, so, like so. For example, like the street lights, they use the the solar energy so that they can light up at the. Uh, so some of them light light up at night, so they Good. use the solar energy. Good example here in that point. Hannah, make it some how easier she gave an example and she said that the solar panels okay that are used in the uh, street lights on the lamp posts in the street this solar panels they absorb the sunlight and convert it into another form of energy which is electricity that is used to light up the bulbs which found in the lamp post or in whatever okay in the street so that's here an example that give the idea so we in another words we can say maya could you share us uh, we can say that the sun is the main, uh, the source of energy yes, on Earth. Yes, good. So simply, sun is the main source of energy on Earth. Whatever, any source of energy or any resource that you get energy from, electricity, heat, whatever, okay, the form of energy that you use, somehow this energy is converted from the sun even directly or indirectly. That means could be form of energy is converted from another form, converted from another form, and so on until we reach the sun energy or the solar energy. Because actually the only source or the only, or that's considered to be like a permanent source on earth, okay, that is the sun. So every day, once the sun rises up, okay, the earth receives a certain amount of energy from the sun. And this energy regarding to the law of conservation of energy neither be created or destroyed. That means no energy is lost but just change it from one form to another. So like that, the plants absorb some of the sunlight energy and they change it in chemical energy to make glucose in photosynthesis process as we studied before. In same time, solar panels could absorb the sunlight energy and can change it into electricity that use it in different purposes. The sunlight energy heats the water and that's cause, okay, it to evaporate forming clouds, the clouds will make rain and the rain okay could cause rainfalls and rainfalls could turn terpenes and terpenes 
could produce electricity. So like this, the energy change from one firm to another, okay? And keep doing like this. You get the idea, guys? Is it clear? Yes. So whatever any source of energy that we get, okay, or that we could uh, obtain from our environment, mainly, okay, is drifted or in mainly is already uh, converted from the solar energy or the sunlight energy. So like this, we could say th say that that solar energy or the sunlight energy is the main source of energy on our planet Earth, okay? So here, actually, there is an extra information that's not mentioned in your book, but I just need to share it with you, okay? Actually, we know the sun is a pool of fire. You know this? It's a pool of gases or a sphere of gases made of hydrogen and helium in which they are in a neutral reaction that produce intense amount of heat and light. That's why we say glowing and that's to produce this uh, huge amount of heat and light. So actually, we we used when we are young, we used to say that the uh, uh, sun is a permanent source of energy. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we heard this before. We said that sun is permanent source. It will last forever. Actually, it will not last forever, because as it just a chemical reaction or a nuclear reaction that happened between two gases. So one day these gases are completely react together and they will end. But by studying the size of the sun and the amount of the gas found in it and make some calculations, we found that will take billions of years to happen. So the billions of years compared to the estimated lifetime of the Earth is too much. Okay, So like this, we consider that the Earth and the people, they will extinct it and everything will die before the sun ends. So that's why we call it a permanent source. But actually, it's not a permanent source. Even it's not a renewable uh, source because one day it will end up. but Compared to the age of the sun to the age of the earth, we find that the sun will last more and more and more than the estimated time of the earth. You get this, guys? Yes. Is it clear? That extra information just for you, okay? So here, let's find what next. So now we know what is natural resource, and we could imagine that we have a lot of resources that we use every day. And that's make our life easier. So once now you're working in your home, okay, passing from your room to the next room. So you're going to find that you use a lot of resources that you never think about them, okay? You are sitting on a chair that's made of food or plastic or metal. So all of these are resources holding your tablet or your mobile, the PC, which made of different components that include a lot of elements and minerals that already obtained from the environment. So that is a resource also the internet and these kind they depend on the satellites depend on the cables which found underground and so on all these are resources so you're gonna find that your life is easier because of the resources which is already a lot created and by the knowledge we get to be able to manufacture this or to use these natural resources to make best usable products which we use in our daily life Okay, guys. So here we could classify the natural resources into two categories, or we could uh, classify resources generally into two categories: renewable resources, and of course, who can tell me the other type? Non. Non-renewable. Non non-renewable. So we have renewable. Of course, there is non-renewable. So what are the renewable resources? Who could guess what are renewable resources? Okay. Yeah, yes, Nano. Anything that decomposes, yeah, and food Decom decomposes, so that's Plans. what we renew. Oh, what does it mean? It must be decomposes. Oh, and uh, renews itself, yeah, and it can be made more of. Yep, okay, that means they will not. Finish, yeah. finish finish or run out yes okay so like this renewable resource we said that there are resources which always found because they are renewable that means they or could renew themselves or they will be remade or recreated by the nature mm -hmm. or something like that like that so we find they will never finish or they will never run off okay so or they or will actually run out they will we always find them. So here, let's see, a renewable resource and a natural resource that can be replaced at the same rate at which it used. So that's mean as we consume, it is still produced, so it never get less or it never finish. 
Okay, so anyone could you give me examples of renewable resources, guys? Solar energy. Solar energy, good. Solar energy is a renewable resource because every day we receive the same amount of sunlight energy from the sun. Okay, that's good. So it's a renewable resource. Wind energy. energy. Wind, brilliant, Luji. Okay, Luji, good. So Luji here mentioned that uh, wind is a renewable resource. Yes, because the wind is already depends on uh the kind or that's when this concerns the resource that happened due to the difference in the heat or the different in pressure from one place and the earth and another so when the keep just flowing all over the earth so this place could contain wind now after what another place contains the same amount of wind and so on keep rotating or moving around the earth so somehow they are renewable what else is just one water Water, good, of course, water resources, they are in your boat. Although the water okay, could change from one firm to another. So that means some water are usable, the fresh water that we could drink and the others we may or not drink, but the amount of water all over the world is still constant the same, okay? It represents about 72% of the total volume of the earth. But, okay, it could be in different forms, but still the amount of water is the same. So like this, during the water cycle, water evaporates and turns into clouds, then precipitate in another place and so on. So just it change its location or the, the kind of redistribution of water that happens all over the earth. But overall, the amount of water is the same. Good. What else? Uh, yes, Reem? Steve, um, geothermal energy? Yeah. Thermal energy. Yep. Yeah, okay. Um, so Thermal energy, good. Okay, thermal energy changes from form to another, but the amount of the thermal energy we obtain from the sun and we, that are produced from different living organisms and uh, machines, and that they keep the amount of energy as a constant and so on. So like this, okay, yes, actually, once we talk about the renewable resource, we don't talk about energy because energy is always conserved. But renewable resource, we said that something we could use, something we could find in nature, okay? And that is a renewable resource that will not run out. Yes, uh, do you want to say something? Oh, uh, is the thermal, uh, any thermal energy, heat or electricity? Uh, heat, no, sorry. Yes, thermal energy, it means the heat, okay? Or that means transferring oh. of heat, okay? So here, let's see. So we find that a renewable resource, as we said, it's a natural resource that can be replaced at the same rate at which it is used, okay? So my question here, Oil or petroleum could be considered as a renewable resource? No. 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 Although, no. although already petroleum is reforming, already some plants die every day and they burn underground and of course they will decompose and under pressure and temperature they may turn into petroleum. But it's still not considered to be renewable. Why? Because although they already reformed, but they are not reforming in the same rate we use which means already we consume a lot of fossil fuels every day. We put gasoline in our cars, we use uh, the coal in different purposes, we use petroleum in different things, in factories, machines, blah, blah. So we consume a lot of fossil fuels in high rate compared to the rate which the fossil fuel or which uh, where the petroleum is renewed. So that means after time, we will use the the reservoir or the what we call it the stored amount of petroleum underground although they is renewed but it will take a lot of time to be renewed again so that's here we consider them it's non-renewable resource because the rate of use is higher than the rate of renewing or replacing you get the idea guys or is not clear that far no i missed it are you sure clear for everyone yes Okay, so here we said that although many resources are renewable, they still can be used up before they can be renewed. That means, as we said, the petroleum petroleum is renewable actually because it's already made from the bird, animals, and plants. But here, if our rate of usage is more than the rate of renew, so in that case, of course, they will run out or they will okay finish before okay they renew themselves. So here, plants, plants concerned to be renewable, yes or no, because plants are produced and produce a new uh, generations of plants. But if we eat this plant a lot, or if we use this plant in high rate, we don't give a chance to reproduce. So after a while, a green land will change to be a fair land without no plants. Although it's a renewable resource, but it doesn't give enough time to renew itself, or the rate of usage is more 
of usage were, were, was more than the rate of renewing. You got this, guys? So here he said that trees, for example, are renewable. However, some forests are being cut down faster than the new forest can be grow up to replace them. So here, let's pass to the other hand, okay, the non-renewable resources. So we could figure out or that just a kind of production, non-renewable resources. What mean by non-renewable resources, guys? Yes, Adam? Resources that end. Yeah, resources that end, or that mean the resources that are already found once, and once you use them, they cannot be replaced or they cannot be renewed. So that means just once, okay? So, yes, Maya, do you want to say something? No, I wanted to say the same answer. Okay, good. So here we said that not all the Earth's natural resources are renewable. An unrenewable resource is a resource that forms at a rate that is much slower than the rate at which it is consumed. That means it will be, be too slow, okay? That means even we don't use them that much, but also still too slow. That means even if we don't use them in that high rate, if we just start to slow the rate of usage we may die before it renew itself okay so for example here uh let's see some minerals some elements they could produce or uh, some uh, natural uh, products they could already form it that takes thousands of years to be renewed like for example the oil okay so that takes thousands of years to renew themselves so even we didn't use the, them or we start to reduce our usage of that uh, resource, but we will not live for thousands of years. We may die before these thousands of years, okay? So in that case, even it's considered to be non-renewable, okay? So here that the idea, the non-renewable resources, okay? Actually, they are resources that reform or the rate of the renew is too slower re, uh, compared to the rate of consume. So my question, guys, here, that's a very good question. Just read, listen carefully and tell me, is there a resource that never renew? That's a good, hey, guys, listen, listen. Is there a resource that never renew? No. No. Whatever, that's a good question, yes, no, but why? Because, because whatever the matter is, it must be recycled because we know that we have a low conservation of mass, which means that atoms never be created or destroyed. So whatever, any matter just will turn from one form to another. So like that, okay, that somehow they are going to be cycled, take another shape, but still the same amount of each element in the Earth is still found as it is or is the same. Here, the, but the problem in the rate, how much they already form it and how much they are consumed. So if they are greedy, the rate of uh, replacing or the rate of renewing is too slow rate related or compared to the rate of uh, combustion. So consumption three. So in that case, it will run out. You get the idea, or we will not find it. Okay, it will may take a lot of years until it reformed. So we don't know that we will be able to get it back again or not. You got this, guys. Hannah, do you want to ask a question? Yeah, yes, I am. Um, Mister, uh, how is it, how uh, is since uh, is there is nothing that is never renew renewable, uh, but like for example, we cannot uh, we cannot renew uh, petrol or something like we cannot re renew the oil and like this. No, oil and petroleum they could be renewed, but how much it take until we get petroleum? For example, what is the sort what? Uh, uh, how the petroleum and the oil, okay, natural gas, all these are from it. They already from it from the bird plants or the old forests and the animals once they are extinct and buried underground for thousands of years, they somehow gradually turn to be oil and coal and natural gas and all this fossil fuel. Yes, we agree about this, Hannah? Yes. Yep. So what do you think? Nowadays, there are no plants, animals, they buy and buried under soil. There is. There is, but how much it needs until these bird, animals, and plants turn to be oil or petroleum? Um, a long, a long time. Yeah, a very long time. So it could renew, but this long time compared to our average lifetime is too much. 
So even we didn't use them, okay, our next generation, next generation, next generation, they will not be able to wait until they renew. You get the idea? Yeah, so they have the ability to renew, but actually the rate is too slow. Okay, so for example, we said we will stop using okay the uh, fossil fuel and we wait for a hundred uh, thousand years or maybe okay a million year till the petroleum is renewed. So who could live for a million year? You got the idea? Yes. Yep. Okay. So like these guys here, we said that coal, petroleum, and natural gas are examples of non-renewable resources. When these resources are used up, humans will have to find another resources to replace them. Yes, that the and the, of course you heard about this before that always we research or we try to use the renewable resource of energy in a state of non-renewable. All the world now knows that one day petroleum, coal, and natural gas they will run out, and in that case, we will not be able to run our machines and the cars and the factories and so on. So we try to search for another form of, that's why, for example, you find that, that some modern cars already work by electricity. You got this, guys? Yes. Yep, okay. So why they turn to turn the car? First, because they know that after years, okay, petroleum will be so rare, so that will be hard to, and in the same time, uh, as we know, natural gas produce a lot of smokes and something like that. So that uh, natural gas and the, the petroleum oil, they produce a lot of smokes that somehow pollute the environment. So they try to get some clean resources. Electricity doesn't produce this kind of smog. So in that case, we keep the environment more healthy. Okay. So like these guys, or we are going to stop at this point. So we know what the meaning of resource. And we could now look to everything in our daily life that we use to make our life easier they somehow already made of a natural resource and we classify the resources into two main categories which are renewable and non-renewable resource and we know the difference between them so any hard point any hard point regarding this part guys no thank you everything is clear yes Okay, so we're going to stop at this part, guys, and next time, inshallah, we're going to continue our lesson. Please read this part carefully from your textbook, and if you have unclear part or something is not clear for you or have any question, just ask next time. Thank you, guys, and goodbye.